Wedding bells are ringing for 2017 U.S. Open champion Sloane Stevens as she has just announced that her and boyfriend Josie Altidore are engaged. Josie, 27, who is a member of the U.S. men's national soccer team and plays for the Toronto Football Club, has known Sloane since the two were both children. They were first spotted together in 2017 as he was in her player box for that year's U.S. Open, cheering her on as she won her maiden Grand Slam title. The news came through social media as Sloan posted this picture on her Instagram with the caption, Forever Yes. Josie also posted about the news, tweeting, Forever Starts Now. Here's what Josie had to say about Sloan and how the two actually met. How did you meet Slow Stevens and how long have you guys been dating for? Um, I met Sloan. We've known each other for a long time since so we were in school. Yeah, oh, you guys like went fourth, to school together? Yeah, fourth, fifth grade, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Literally same elementary school. Kinda, yeah. I was, yeah, she went to, we went to Boca Prep. She went there. I had to try to get in there. She went there, though. <laughs> yeah. Was it? And what is that? Yeah, what kind what of school is that? Is that? It's, a, it's a preparatory school. There you go, your man right there. He in the logo. So, there it know, is. Take all that. Yo, he's bro. not a liar. You got a uniform. So yeah, he is. You got to push TF, you got to push Toronto FC for a week now. Yo, that's it. Every morning. <laughs> every morning, you guys will like, shout out to TFC. Is where it's at. Yo, They're the champs. That's easy. At least you guys are winning. Yeah, exactly. Drizzy, why are you wearing the whole uniform, though? You look nuts man, out here. Nah, With the socks and cleats? Look, my man came correct, man. He does everything 100%. That's why we love Drake in the six, bro. Leave him alone. Oh in the God. six. In the six. Yo, he's full Torontonian. I'm full Torontonian. He's full Torontonian. Right? Full Toronto. Prayer hands and everything. You got the brand Mom, brother. <laughs> I'll tattoo. Are you crazy, man? I'm here, man. I'm here. Wait, so what kind of school is uh, was Booker Prep? A prep school. And for so like for but it was a common to have great athletes. Yeah, it was. You had uh, you had they have a great tennis program, they have a great golf program, and they're trying to get into soccer. And so you know they came and tried to recruit me, and I got to go down a full scholarship. You had to. It's crazy how it, wor it worked out. I got in there through Andy Roddick. You had to write him like a letter or whatever, and the best few letters he chose, and like the best story about you know what you want to do and the path you want to take. He chose and he sponsored you. You got to go to the school. Why and, Andy Roddick? Is, why was it his? Because he was a legend there too. He went there for tennis and obviously he went on wow. to do big things in tennis. And so he paid for my my education there. All right. So tell, take me through this. I, this is my favorite question for athletes who are with athletes. Yeah. Watching Sloan in the U.S. Open versus the nerves you have for yourself. What was that experience? Oh, like? hands down, watching her. Way worse, right? Not even close. Yeah. Mm. Not even close. Did you feel like powerless? Like yeah, it's it's crazy because you're watching somebody um, compete in a way, especially in a big moment, and you're powerless. You can't do anything about it. You know, sometimes you want to get in there and try to help out, try to help <laughs> her swing like a little bit more this way, but you can't. You can't do anything. So it's it's crazy to watch her do that, but it's great too to watch her compete and do her things. It's exciting. Yeah, I was there that night for the uh, Venus win. That felt like a special. Oh, yeah, that was crazy. That was a special moment for yeah American course. tennis. Had to be. Um, what are your, uh, is she, well, I don't want to ask about her feelings. What are your thoughts about the idea of getting to see, like, because I naturally, we always get excited about stories, right? And now you have the story of her getting to win the U.S. Open. Yeah. And now we get Serena coming back. It's potentially a really exciting time for women's tennis. Do you think about it from just a fan standpoint? Or are you just straight Team Sloan? All you worry about is us just going out and getting these W's. That's it, man. I'm not worried about nothing else. Tunnel vision. I'm worried about my lady. He has I'm not to worried say about that. nothing. What you mean? Have to say you what? You have to say that because that's your girl. No, nah, I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> like I'm speaking the truth. Get like, these M's. No, nah, I'm not even about that. It's just I've, that's how I've always been. Um, you are my circle. You're a part of my family. My people. I worry. That's all I worry about. I'm not worried about anything else. What the competition is doing. And she's doing great things, man. I'm proud of her. I'm happy for her. And you know, she she had a big year. She's gonna have another big year. I'm sure. Many more to come. Anything annoying of about the um, going the public life now that she's become such. I mean, like, you're very recognizable in the soccer world. The name Josie Altidore is one of the biggest names in U.S. soccer in the last 15, 20 years. Sloan, though, in winning the U.S. Open becomes a very mainstream American star. No. Was there anything annoying about going out in that time afterwards? No, I'm not, I'm not a public person. She's not really either. So we keep everything, you know, we just, we enjoy, we enjoy in our You're not in the club. No, nah, yeah. she, you know, we're not like that. We're not those people, we, you know, we're, we're very, we chill, laid back. I mean, we like to have fun, obviously, but you're not going to catch us, you know, stumbling out of one oak or something like that. Yeah, yeah I've never seen that you headline. Know, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Damn. Why, you was trying to run into him at one oak? He's going to be like, yo, what are you doing tonight? It's going to happen. Nah, nah, Celebrating nah. the championship. You know what I mean? Nah. Taking trophy to the club. Yo, that would be this a great... past week, though, you could have caught me stumbling at a lot of places. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Normally, nah. But nah. special occasion for this yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, there's no news yet of when the two are actually getting married, but what we do know is that Sloan isn't the only one putting a ring on it, as both Rafael Nadal and Caroline Wozniacki are getting married this year. 
Are you happy for Sloan and Josie? Do you think that being married will somehow elevate Sloan's game? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you here next time on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.